E is less than delta. Right? There is an N here for which this one is called P sub big N. And all the other ones are closer. Yes? And so now Daniel's thinking, for this PN, its image is close enough here. That's the end of the proof uh, for the for forward direction. So little n bigger than big N implies the distance between f of Pn and uh, q is less than epsilon. Right? Why, why is that? Well, that's because it follows from the here. This is just what I, I use by Smiley, by Cyclops Smiley, which was this condition right there. Okay? I used the condition that I assumed. And now, this is the proposed N that works. So that's the forward direction. Okay? Help, backwards direction. Oh, question? Something? Oh, okay, just twiddling the pencil. Great. What about uh, the backwards direction? Suppose for all sequences this is true. Can I show the limit of f is q? Hmm. It might be easier actually to prove the contrapositive. Let's try that. It'd be fun anyways to try it that way. Suppose the limit's not q. Let's then, what's my goal? Show that what's the opposite of for all sequences. There is a sequence for which all this is true, but this doesn't converge to Q. That's what we'll do. We can do that. <coughs> so if the limit as X goes to P of F of X is not Q, then Okay, help me negate this. This, is, this will be lots of fun. Let's negate this definition. So if the, to say f of x limit is, is q means this. To say that this is not q means for alls becomes there exists and vice versa. So here we go. There exists a epsilon bigger than 0 such that for all delta bigger than 0. <laughs> There exists an x, there's a point in E, such that, well, what's the negation of A implies B? The negation of A implies B is A and not B, right? You have this true, but this isn't true. So such that, here we go, 0 is less than dxp is less than delta, but the distance between f of x and q is greater than or equal to epsilon. So to say that it doesn't converge to q means that there is a radius around q such that no matter what delta you give me, anytime you're within delta, uh, you, you, can, you can find a point such that uh, uh, the distance between p and x is smaller than delta, but the distance between their images is bigger than epsilon. Okay, so how are we going to use this fact? This is, this is what we know so far. Can you use this, this fact to construct a sequence that can't converge to q? This might be a good 